How you doing? My name is Ryan with Interactive Garage. Um, first, let me thank you for reaching out to us and wanting to learn more about the upgrade from the Keystone Premium program that you see on uh, Keystone Interactive Garage right now and what the difference is to upgrade to the Interactive Garage Custom program. Um, the features and benefit bullet points, uh, everything I'm going to talk about is in the email that I sent you that came with this link. But let's go ahead and go through that step by step. So grab a cup of coffee, grab a soda. This is going to be about a 10 minute video, um, but I think it's going to be really informative to you as to why you should upgrade to that custom program. So I'm going to transition over to a screen share. So first let's go over the different uh, screens or URLs that you are going to get from uh, this upgrade. So I've already, you know, so here's your homepage. I've already kind of queued up a vehicle. So one thing that you're going to see on the, on the custom program is instead of this Keystone Interactive Garage logo, we're actually going to put your logo here, your company logo that you send us. We're going to put that here. Um, so just like you see uh, this automotive performance gear or this red desert off road, you know, your logo is going to be inside this little box right there. So the, uh, I'm starting here with the, the program that's inside your Keystone frame set because the, what you'll still be able to do, just like on the demo program, is you'll still be able to add a product to, to a vehicle or products. So let's say you're, you know, you're, you're with a customer and they, you've gone ahead and built up this vehicle to what they want and they are ready to check out and, uh, and order that product from you. So while they're sitting right in front of you, you can go ahead and key this up and this will drop right into your Keystone account. So we get your account number, we get a sign off to, to receive your pricing file and I'm gonna go over that in a second. But we're, right now what it's doing is the program is now Interactive Garage is linking up with your eKeystone account and passing the part numbers, the two part numbers that we put on that uh, GMC Sierra and it's passing it right to your shopping cart. So now what you're going to be able to do is your customer is ready to, to put the cash in your cash register. So you can take those two parts that we put on that vehicle and hit check out. So really nice feature if you use your eKeystone frame set while a customer is at your location and, and ready to check out. So right to cart. So the second e the URL that you are going to get that is, that is different than the free version of the premium version that you have now is a URL to put on your website. So obviously, depending on the marketing that you do to drive people to your website, you get a lot more people hitting your website every day than you do walking through your door. So this is a huge upgrade uh, from the premium version to have this Interactive Garage available on your website. So Interactive Garage is an iframe application, not to get too technical, but in simple, Simple words and phrases is it sits with inside your, your interactive or in, inside your company website just like this. You know, your customer can still go to the home page, go to the about us page, however you want to, uh, or whatever your site looks like. And then whether you call it interactive garage, call it a vehicle configurator, build my dream, uh, whatever you want to call it, and however you want to uh, direct your customers to it. It sits nicely with inside this frame set with your logo. And then again, if you go and customize a vehicle, uh, the way that it'll show up, just like on the, the e Keystone frame that we showed earlier, is your logo's over here and your customer can sit and build. So um, the, the one thing about the, this URL is, you know, you, your customer has the ability to print the vehicle build and bring it to your, your location. Um, there is also an email feature um, for the customer to be able to email themselves, their significant other, and you get copied on that email of the build, and then you can reach back out to them. Um, if you want to go to interactivegarage.com and see a, a demo off our page, I'll show you real quick. So if you go to interactivegarage.com, there's a demo link here, and then I'll show you real quick of what, what that would look like when an email comes through. So we're going to pick on the Jeeps again. So if a customer is uh, on your page, and let's say they put a body armor piece on, 
And let's just do a cargo rack real quick. So here we have the ability to email the vehicle build. So this will prompt a, you know, what's your first name, last name, and email. Those are the two that we require. And then that email will get sent to the customer. Uh, and again, you copied on this uh, of what they're interested in. So they fill this out, first name, last name. If they want to fill out more, that's great. We found that most usually don't. Uh, the more info you try to get from them, the, the, the fewer emails that you're going to get. But this send the build comes over in an email and essentially it's, it looks just like this print build. Um, so it's going to send you a PDF of the, the vehicle that they have. So a nice color uh, picture of the vehicle. It has all the products that they are interested in. So everything is, yeah. So your logo will appear here. It tells you what vehicle they're interested in as well as the product. So this is very similar to what you're gonna get via the email uh, that comes into your box. So cool feature, again, that is only available on the custom interactive garage. Um, the other URL that you get is, we call this our full screen URL. So if you have a, a location that you wanna run the interactive garage at, you can run it on anything from, you know, it's full responsive, so you can run it on anything from a small phone to a, to a tablet size, uh, to full screen. And the nice part about full screen is uh, you can run it on anything that you want at your location. As long as you have an internet connected device, you can run an inter interactive garage. We've got customers uh, that have a big TV hanging on their wall, connected to a computer that a mouse drives it so your customer can, can see it on a nice big 55 inch screen TV. We've got We've got display stand options. You can put a tablet out there. You can turn your monitor around, doesn't matter. Uh, but this is the other URL that you get uh, going to the custom program. All right, so now we, sh we talked about the different program, uh, the different URLs that you get and the multiple areas that you can use uh, Interactive Garage. Let's talk about the pricing side of it. So I'm on, you know, so now we go back to the eKeystone main page. And up here is your account center. So currently, the, the, the premium version of the Interactive Garage has, has set pricing, has set vehicles, and set products uh, that, that the Interactive Garage and Keystone worked out together. Um, upgrading to the premium or the, the custom program allows you to do is adjust the retail pricing shown. So you go into your account center. You click on that button that I showed you. Sorry, I'll do that again if it was too quick. So you go into your account center, you've got adjust retail pricing. So if you've never been into this page uh, on your site, then this is really cool. You can, you know, we, we adjust the retail margin percentage above your cost with Keystone. So we, we get a pricing file from Keystone uh, based upon what you put in here. And you know, I did some examples already, but let's do this. So current blanket. So if I wanted everything that I, I purchased from Keystone to be at a, let's call it a 32% above my cost. Hitting this update automatically takes everything that you order from Keystone and puts it at a 32% above your cost margin. Well, we get that file from Keystone when you upgrade to the, the custom program and that will filter through to everything that we have on our program on Interactive Garage that matches with what Keystone has. You can see down here, you can also go supplier to by supplier and do the same thing. So if I want to put Addictive Desert Designs at 32, Amp Research at 28, so on and so forth. Really cool. I mean, you know, you can change this daily if you want. If back industries, you want to have that at 38% today. You hit update and automatically within your frame set of eKeystone and within 24 hours, it'll show up within your program on your website and on your kiosk. Really cool. Um, you can also within the series, so let's say on here what it shows is, you know, when I put back at 38%, I also went and did a, I want to, I want to sell their Revolver X2 at a little bit more competitive at a 31%. You know, I'll show you how that's done real quick. Um, so we'll pick on, um, we'll just continue to go with back here. We'll go to back. And then right now it's querying what 
all the series of back tonneau covers are that Keystone has. So now we're going to go, well, we're going to do the back flip and we're going to make that a 28%. So again, what this is doing is now Keystone's database is querying and saying, okay, everything that has a back part number to it that has to do with a back flip tonneau cover is going to be put at 28%. We get that file on Interactive Garage, and it'll also show up on your program, whether it's your website program or your in-store program, as well as your program with inside your eKeystone frame set. So really cool way to do your pricing um, and customize it more than what is available on the Keystone Premium program that you have uh, at your fingertips that you can use today. So the other thing you're going to see in this account center is your interactive garage admin. So when you go to that admin, it looks like this and a couple things a little bit different. So manufacturer, let, let's actually start with the, man, yeah, the manufacturers here. So let's say that you don't want to sell addictive desert designs or um, air design or what have you. You can enable or disable these manufacturers as you please. Right, so the reason you want to do this is, let's say you want to scale your offering down on the front bumpers that are available uh, for Jeep. And my example on that one is we have the Jeep JK. That was one of our first vehicles. That Jeep JK has over 150 front bumper options. So we can go ahead and pare down what we see and what we want to show through this admin. So again, I, I turned uh, air design off. So this check will turn into a X. Sorry, I have to disable, disable. That'll turn into an X. And then what we'll do is we can also go and do individual products. So this is, again, you can, whoops. You can see all the different manufacturers. This Keystone logo indicates it is a Keystone supply, uh, supplied vendor and see all the different UR, uh, SKUs that we have for these uh, vendors. All right, so now let's go into individual products. So you can also scale back what you wanna show or put everything that we have on Interactive Garage on your custom, uh, on your custom program. You can do that by, you know, you can look and pop this over to 100 and then you can see all the different products. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of products that we have, uh, or this nice filtering feature that we put together. So let's look at Addictive Desert Designs. And then let's go even farther. Let's say you wanted to see what Addictive Desert Designs had for Jeep. So this will show you exactly all the products from Addictive Desert Designs that we have on a Jeep. So let's say like you see this X here. So I was doing some examples earlier. Um, this X showed that I took this product off this Jeep. Let's say, you know, um, we'll go to an example that says, I, I wanna keep scaling down my product offering. So I don't want this bumper from Addictive Desert Designs on the Jeeps. So you can keep going down here and scale back or scale up as far as what you wanna see on your program. You can also come in here and, and do a pricing, uh, a custom price. So this is your percentage above Keystone cost. So we showed you how to do that in your account admin. Well, now I want to do a custom price because I really want to be, you know, uh, the, the pricing in my area is uh, I, I can get $1,200 for this piece. Uh, or this week I want to do a sale on that. So you can custom price every individual product that you want to see on your interactive garage. That is different than the premium program, which is set retail set by, uh, you know, an MS, a suggested MSRP by Keystone. So being able to have a custom price, huge. Being able to custom uh, select what products you want on your program, awesome, right? You want to scale it to a good, better, best scenario, the manufacturers that you really want to focus on, that is really what the custom program is all about, is customizing it to your want. We also have labor options. So if you, uh, if you have a location that puts uh, products on, you can enable the labor feature. You can set your labor price. And then what we have to do is you have to go back into the individual products tab, and then you can tell 
each individual product what you want to uh, put as far as the install. So let's take Addictive Desert Designs again. We'll take this rear bumper and we know that this rear bumper should be, uh, you know, the 1.5 hours to install. We're going to leave it at the percentage above Keystone cost and hit save changes. So now on your program, within the, the, the drop down on the, in the shopping cart, it'll actually add the labor uh, to put that product on that vehicle. So again, you know, really cool to be able to customize everything, anything and everything on your interactive garage. Um, one final piece, you know, the background, the cool background switcher that you see on, on, all, the, on all the interactive garage programs. You know, so this background, you know, your customer can pick it, but you can also set what your default is. So if you want to have the default in the desert, or as we come into the snow season, you can set your default to whatever you want. This is kind of a popular one for dealerships. It kind of looks like a, a showroom. So to be able to customize that is, is also a nice, a nice piece. Um, but again, your customers can also uh, switch that up uh, however they want to do it. So, um, so that's pretty much everything, uh, which is a lot. I mean, the customization of being able to, to customize your pricing on each product, uh, to customize what vendors that you want to see that we match with Keystone on, uh, putting labor um, is awesome. Uh, it's, if you have a shop that has the ability to, uh, to do installs, you know, to give them the full pricing, uh, both on your website, on the st at your store, or if you're working your e-Keystone frame set with your customer in front of you. Um, all that comes with the custom program. Um, the custom program is $900 a year, but the best part is, is it's gonna be billed monthly to you from your Keystone account. So $75 a month comes out of your Keystone account, and you get all this interactive garage um, and the ability to customize it to what you want to see on your interactive garage. So I'm looking through my bullet points and I covered everything. If there's any other questions that I can answer for you, uh, happy to help out. 435-879-8208 is our office number. I'm extension one or ryan at interactivegarage.com or respond to the email that, uh, that this link came through on. So hope to, uh, to get a lot of you on board on this. And if, any, if not, if you don't want to upgrade to the custom, you know, please keep using the free version on, um, on the eKeystone program. Uh, every 30 to 45 days, we do send out an update. That update will include all any new products that we have, any new vehicles that we put on the program, features and benefits of the program. Uh, and you guys are all going to get copied on those, uh, those e-blasts of what gets put on the program, both the custom side uh, as well as the free premium version from Keystone. So thank you very much and I uh, hope to hear from you.